and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at something rather incredible. It's a mod that is heavily work in progress and it's called the Harpoon Rope. Yes, so what this mod does is fire a rope at your target and allow you to drag it around, reel it in, extend it out and do whatever. But word of warning, this is quite an intensive mod because it's not something that you would normally think of when you play Space Engineers. So this mod is added in through the mod menu so you can't spawn it in with your F10 and you'll find it in your little build menu over here under the name of Harpoon. We get two options, we get a large one for a large block and a small one for a small block and you can see the cost right there. Dirt cheap for the small one and nothing too hard for the large one. So what I've done is set a few things up so we're going to play around with it because there's not too much else to talk about the model for the actual harpoon. Like I said, it is a work in progress, so it's simply using the spotlight model and there are a few little tiddly parts with this that I'll explain in just a second. So we just paste it in on our block and wherever the light is shining out is where we're going to aim it. So getting into my cockpit, we'll now need to set this up. So I've already set this up on this tab, but let's come over to tab number five and we need to find the harpoon. So when we drag it over, we get all the controls over the regular spotlights. But the only ones we are interested in are the show on HUD on and off and the increase or decrease radius. The show on HUD on and off is how we're going to toggle the rope to fire and disable it. And the radius is to increase or decrease the rope's length. So I'm just going to put that on like that, drag down the second one, increase the radius, third one, and decrease the radius and we're all ready to go. So I'm just going to take off with this ship, which is from the workshop, by the way. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And now we're going to target this little rover over there. So we're going to aim our crosshair right at it, press 1, and we shoot out the harpoon, and it attaches a rope straight onto it. So getting out, this is what it looks like. It just comes out the dead center of our spotlight, all the way across onto our vehicle, where we can't see the end of it. It just snaps on wherever you fired it. And now if I was to pull backwards on my ship, we will now start to drag the rover around like so. So it is a little bit wonky because the weight of the ship will sometimes make it fling over your head and potentially damage your ship that you're trying to drag with. But it's still bloody fantastic stuff to be able to transport stuff like this. It opens up so many opportunities of different things. You could go crazy with this, like transport cargo containers from one place to another without attaching it via landing gear, although it is pretty dangerous. So we've now got our little rover attached to us by a rope. I can press 1 to disable it. Before I do that, let's just go and press number 3, which will then increase the rope. And then we can press number 4. I am having to fight this because it is wobbling around a bit. And now I can decrease the rope, like so, and pull it on all the way up to me. Let's just zoom in like this. And there we go. And that's going to clang straight into me. So I'm going to let it go and drop it to the ground. And there we are. So let's try that again. If I come across to over to say, in fact, I'll go pick up that one once again. Where'd that fall? There it is. So we just press number one of our spotlight. We fire it out. And now we can fly away and drag it around with us. Yes, so as I was saying, the game is not very happy with this rope. It is exceedingly wonky, so the framework does tend to dip a little bit if you don't have a good computer like me. But we can do other stuff with this rope, so we can use it on land vehicles. So I've got this one all set up, and I've got over there the Kiwi survival pod that I did recently. This is the Savannah Rover, which has the wonky suspension. We now just turn around here, if I bring up my tab, and a look behind, I can now just aim this down a bit and attempt. Oop, that's bad. There we go. I've now snapped onto the Kiwi survival pod with the rear of this rover. Let's now just pull it in just a little bit, although that's going to pull me towards the survival pod. Now we can drive forwards, and hopefully we have the strength. Uh oh, that's all good. Keep going. There we are. We can now drag around this survival pod, and hopefully. Ah, oh, he got us. Yes, that is one thing you can do with that. So here we go for another demonstration of the harpoon rope. 
So this is the Dex fighter, very small fighter, very useful fighter in fact, where we can just delete the camera at the front, plop on ourselves a harpoon with the light shining out the front, pop into the cockpit, and then bring across over to here, wherever the harpoon is, there it is, and just find the Sean HUD on and off. There we go, so now we can toggle the harpoon, like so. So where should we go? In fact, I shall turn around here and attempt to pick that up and pull that around. We've got a nice lot of speed with this ship, so we should be able to swing this thing around like that. Game is not too happy about me doing this. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. And away it goes. So you could, if you wanted to, build a slingshot using this and perhaps catapult warheads to your enemies. But now what I wanted to do, which was the whole purpose of spawning this, is to show you how this works with heavier things. So we've got a very light small ship, and that is a very big rover. So I'm just going to fire it straight forwards, and now we're attached. I'm going to attempt to reverse. As you can see, there is nothing I can do to pull this around. It's simply going to snap me around and just pull me to the ground whenever I try and pull it along. So what if I was to, say, bring in a slightly larger ship shall we say so here we go once again we can just go and say plop this right there below the cockpit come into here we don't need our gatling gun so let's get that harpoon show on hud on and off we're a little bit bigger than dex fighter we've got more thrust with this thing so let's go and fire it into the back of that and attempt to pull away and there we are we're still not able to do stuff but i will demonstrate once again let me just speed past this the rope which is clipped through stuff, when we hit the limit, we then slam down like a proper rope. And to finish this off, I will just go into the control menu and show you in here. The harpoon doesn't have anything going on with it. It's still the standard spotlight, but that will obviously be changed in the future because it's still work in progress. So let's go ahead and drag a dex fighter with a dex fighter. If I just reverse all the way up, let's just find the maximum range. I know it is pretty damn long. So that will just keep on going and going and going. So let's just reverse this all the way up. In fact, it would probably be faster for me to turn around like so and fly towards the starting base. Turn it. We can just about see that. Let's see if we can just clip ourselves into it. Don't think it worked. Might be too far away. Let's try that one, which is a little bit closer. Nope, so we need to be much, much closer for it to actually snap on. There we go. So we need to be roughly 90 meters away from our target. Might even be 100. Let me just come and reverse that up a little bit more. There we are, we're on 99. So it's roughly 100 meters away from your target. And then we can drag it around and take it on its merry voyage, being destroyed by all the trees and all the rocks that get in your way, but sadly the Dex Fighter is not strong enough. Come on, ship, you can do this. And there we go, we're now just pinging it across the landscape. The game is not too happy whenever it tries to do physics with it, but there we go. The rover has now been destroyed, and just for a little test, we can clip ourselves to the ground so if you're ever worried about your ship wandering off by itself, you can always harpoon it to your base, and there's no way for it to escape. It'll just get pinged down, and eventually slam into the ground. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Hopefully I'll get to revisit this mod in a later date, when it's all fully fleshed out with custom models and all that. But currently it does work bloody fantastic. There are a few hiccups here and there we try and snap on for the first time. Or when things start going wrong when you're flinging ships around. But it seems to work pretty damn near perfect. So like I said, it'll be in the description below. And thank you all for watching. Bye bye.